We're back by demand, by fan request. We are doing perhaps the goat of goats, Entomans. Before I begin, though, we've actually, funny enough, gotten requests for shoutouts. So the first one, happy birthday, Jeff Kahn. <laughs> we love you. You're awesome. Thanks for watching. Here we go. So first up, a classic in the donuts game, or as my wife would say, Donetti's. Uh, we have <laughs> we have Entenmann's chocolate mini donuts. Cheers. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. These are just as good as I remember them. They're so good. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, Brooke. We got it. All right. These always feel a little bland to me. Like they need like something. So I'm going for. I think you are really coming down on Donuts Harsh, or Donetti's, as I should say. <laughs> <laughs> That's never not funny. And so I'm going to go with number three. Next up, this is one I've never heard of, bro, before. It's All Butter Loaf Cake. Um, the branding on this sucks. I'm really not excited for this one. All right. <laughs> Here we go, Brooke. That is not good, just as I suspected. This is like, wow. I didn't think Entenmann's missed. It's a little bland, but it's really good. It's very dry. Not as dry. <laughs> not as dry as, what was that, super dry? <laughs> the marshmallow. The, yeah, the marshmallow, oh, that was disgusting. <laughs> not that level dry, but not good. All right, go ahead, Brooke, you're ranking. Six. I'm gonna go eight. Eight. I'm still getting that disgusting <laughs> butter. Ugh. Next up, <laughs> next up we have, <laughs> next up we have Entenmann's version in the in the fruit pie game, <laughs> mini apple snack pies. So I want to know if the packaging says made with real apples, and so unlike the Hostess version, which was delicious, but it was like stuff. Who knows what that was? This claims real apples. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yuck. Mm. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. That actually tastes like it was made and not <laughs> manufactured, which most of these things, I mean, let's be honest, <laughs> it like it it's like made, made. in the beaker. <laughs> This actually tastes like someone actually put things no, together. This is really good. It's really good. Where are you going with this? Um, since I feel like I can change the order later. Yeah, so you I'm, can. I'm going gonna... to go with you on number two. Just a quick explanation. My wife, the, the filmographer, the Scorsese of the production, if you will, told us to, to go back to, to viewer feedback, which we did get. People were asking, can we put each of ours on other side? So that's what you see now. Brooks on this side, mine on this side. So these are, I'm definitely familiar with. They're a later entry into the Entenmann's game. They weren't around when I was a kid. But this is definitely lunchbox material for my kiddos. I know you know these. These are Little Bites. These are adorable. I, just for the viewers, when you were a little kid, you used to call them Muppins. You couldn't say F. All right, here we go. You ready? Uh -huh. Cheers. Okay. Again. Like, that's a little dry. Entenmann's. It's How the mighty dry, have fallen. It's dry and the chocolate just doesn't taste good. Like, the chocolate is weird. And you used to eat these things like candy. I know. I don't eat them anymore, but... Um, <laughs> and number eight. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Um, I'm going to go number six. So here we have it. The reason that we even play this game, right? The best, maybe, in my opinion, the best oh, store-bought so cookie... Good. Going into this now, I'm trying to be impartial, but the best store-bought cookie in the business. Brooke, here we go. Entenmann's chocolate chip cookies. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You know, oh my God. I don't throw around the, the word great a lot, but this is, this is fucking great. I'm sorry for swearing in front of you, Brooke, but it deserves it. <laughs> I have the worst mouth. <laughs> you too. I'm not proud of that, by the way. It's not something you should be so right, excited this, about saying to your dad. This needs no explanation. Right. 
This is the GOAT. I mean, let's be honest. I'm going number one. I can house this whole thing. As a matter of fact, we have a rule about these. You can't bring them in the house because they won't make it past, you know, three hours between everyone hitting this thing. Fantastic. I want that cookie taste to never leave my mouth, truly. Mm. But here we go. Up next, this is, I've had Danish, I think, in the past, but Raspberry Danish Twist. Brooke, I'm, I'm, I have to admit, I'm pretty excited about <laughs> eating this thing. All right, here we go. Cheers. Okay. Okay. Mm. Um, come here. <laughs> come here. Bring it in. Mwah. This um, is this is phenomenal. This, this is, is okay. All right, this is really good, but the raspberry is like. <laughs> ah. <laughs> how dare you? Can you do that again? <laughs> it's like how, a lot of raspberry. How but it's dare really you? It's. I never said it was bad. I said the raspberry is just a lot. All right, go. I'm gonna go donut then the Danish. All right, so hold on. <clears throat> Uh, donut's coming down. <laughs> donut is coming down. And Danish stocks are up. Next up. This is the goat. This is might be up there. With, I'm really excited. I haven't had these since I was like 12, 13 years old. The cheese Danish twist. Mm -hmm. You ready? Uh -huh. oh, you're excited. All right. Mmm. <laughs> That is so good. <laughs> Bite number two. All right. <clears throat> Donetti. <laughs> so this is this is a damn good as your mommy would say, Danish. Danish. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is really good. Really good. Really good. I, it gets better as the, as the seconds go by. It's mm -hmm. like they almost put like a time release on the chemicals in this one because it's <laughs> it's just getting better and better. So I'm sitting, literally as I'm sitting here talking to you. It's really good. Um, all right, here's what's happening. Oh. It's going to number three. Okay. This goes to number four, and then Danetti goes to number five. Okay, so we're on the same page. Here. Yes. I have to say, we're almost done with this, and I'm kind of upset that we're almost done with this because Entenmann's does not disappoint, except for you and you. <laughs> Everything else so far has been really great, and this is the last one. Uh, Entenmann's Crumb Coffee Cake. And here we go, Brooke. This this looks really that good. Looks this, really uh, good. as Mummy would say, Coffee Kiki. I'm never gonna have <laughs> All right, we ready? Uh -huh. Here we go. Mm. That was dry. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> if by dry you mean delicious, that's what this is. Mm. It tastes like the camp coffee cake. Camp it's, coffee cake? It's not as, not as good. Take another bite. That's fabulous. Wow, Entenmann's. <clears throat> wow, I'm impressed. All right, Brooke, where you got it? I'm going to be disappointed, but I'm going seven. I don't... Wow. It's not, it's not very good. Wow. Okay, here's what's happening. Little Muffin down here. Donut over here. Raspberry Danish oh. over here. <laughs> Kehezi Danish over here. <laughs> <laughs> and this goes stop really here here oh my god that's how good that is that's no. fabulous no. so this was by far my favorite ranking so this far um i'm gonna have to say something it's a bold statement here but i'm gonna say it Entenmann's by far has been the best snack family as far as consistency and quality. As I said, it actually feels like someone actually made these versus <laughs> created them in a lab. Um, and I don't mean that as a negative towards the <laughs> towards the hostess and the little Debbies. That's actually kind of what I like about them is the chemicals. No, but yeah, we know. <laughs> but if I'm going to go a ranking so far of where we're at in our tasting series, Entenmann's, Little Debbie, Hostess. What about you? I mean, I'd say the same. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it. So, the king, the king of all, the king of all cookies here. Number one, 
Number two, just deliciousness served in kafi kiki. <laughs> what about her? Number three, we have fantastic entrance on both ends. Here's where, you know, we're starting to mix it up though. We have a little mix, of, you know, agreement in the judges. It's good. Competition is good. She's wrong, I'm right, but it's still good. Number four here, <laughs> no. we're now in the Danish family. And again, fabulous, fabulous entrance. Here we go to number five. I think, Brooke, you have the donuts. The donut oh. is so good. No, it's too high. It's way too high. Um, but way again, here, <laughs> <laughs> number five. Number six, again, here's where the donut's proper ranking, and that is way too high on oh, your man, end. that's good. Um, here we go. Now, the, the bottom of the barrel here. I am ashamed that you have coffee cake so low in your rankings. I really think you need to reconsider that and maybe sleep on that tonight. Write me a paper about why you're wrong. No. Okay, and I will grade it. And last but not least, I think we both can agree here that these two, as we've said in prior ratings, are shit, but shit with corn giblets. Ugh.